Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discuss about alerts. How we can able to validate alerts in our Cypress. Okay, what are the alerts messages we have means there is a normal alert, one confirmation alert and promit alerts. These three type of alerts are presented. Why this alert will come? How they develop means basically this alerts will come under JavaScript. They will give some uh, message to opening some pop-up type. Like if I click this one, it will prompt. It will come and if you click OK, it will move out of that. Okay. These are one kind of pop-up. Okay. In Cypress default, it will support for alerts. If you open this alert, automatically it will close it. Why it will close means there is a JavaScript inside of that because which is the alerts we created means developer is created that alert creation using for JavaScript. Cypress a default program support is JavaScript. When the DOM is open by, by default the Java DOM it is in world Cypress <clears throat> and it will close for that particular drop down. The default is OK button is OK. And if you want to cancel something, then you need to invoke that false condition to stop to click OK. Then once you make it, then you can able to close, like cancel the button. In other programming language like Python with the Selenium, Python Java with the Selenium, in that cases, what will happen? We need to invoke that switch case and alert message then only we can able to do it accept or close okay and we have some events here there are one is window colon confirm and window colon alert these two conditions we can able to use it for event handling for that particular alert messages okay how we can able to make it and how we can able to achieve our program wise we will see in this video. Okay. <clears throat> now I am going to create one of the file. The file name is alert demo dot dot js and I am going to create for describe Okay, in this describe, I'm going to mention it for title <clears throat> alert demo, and I'm going to create the function. Now it is in my test case, and I'm going to create for title is alert verify. And here I'm going to use for Cypress dot Cypress dot dot visit and I'm going to provide for my URL. This is a demo URL. <clears throat> now I need to click for this particular button. Okay, when you mouse over in this particular places, you can able to see there are different sections are presented. Okay, each time it is moving, you can able to see right. When you stop here, it is the one section. When you stop here, there is a different section, and this is also and script. No means the script it is not contained. You can able to see the content here. It is presented complete. Okay and it comes under here and the button it is presented there is no class for this button and also this is a style okay this is a paragraph okay different different aspects are present how we can able to find means we have <coughs> different concept as colon nth child nth child and also we have like a button, right? For button identification, there are three buttons are presented, right? In these three buttons, we can able to measure one and greater than button. 
then it will identify one particular <coughs> button okay now this concept like if you're having something con uh, confusion in this particular creation of this particular nth concept please go through that my selenium with the java and there i created there are 10 uh, videos for only for css selector okay you can able to go through and learn and step by step you can able to get it for how we can able to create this x path okay <clears throat> css selector x path okay don't think is a different format get and i'm going to mention okay and clicking okay now i'm saving this one and cy sorry npx cypress open now i'm going to uh, it will click directly and it will close this browser also like that pop-up uh, window it will close directly that we'll see now sorry it will fail Now you can see that it is clicked and also it is came for here. I am a Java JSON alert. Okay. But we are not seeing any <coughs> validation. Right. Even it is not, we are not able to see in this pop up also. Means it is by default invoke Java DOM and it is closed. Then how we can able to do it to verify? There is a concept cy dot on this method will provide you for the event to listening for your argument what type of argument you want to verify okay first my i want to verify window colon alert in this particular events place you can able to see there is a window colon alert okay that i written here and we need to create a function with a re uh, return value means to return value means what type of return value it is coming for here there is a i am a js alert right this is a return value okay for return value storing purpose i use for string then i am creating a function and here we need to check expected expected a dot is here dot two dot equal okay and that equal place i'm going to create i am a json script okay now i'm saving this one you can able to see here now it will verify condition now you can able to see it will verify the condition right now second case we need to click second button and confirmation verification we need to do now if i'm clicking this one you can able to see i am a json confirmation this is my text if i click this one it should come for ok how we can able to do it means same everything is same okay nothing different but only one particular value we need to change that is window.confirm okay this is the one we are going to take it now we changed and everything is same and also this particular confirmation text box we need to use it here equal place now okay now previous is one now it is two you can see expected json alert it 
Students. Oh, sorry. Box is too right? <coughs> Now you can able to see expected IMI JSON confirm to equal confirmation. Okay, this is the way it will confirm your JSON itself. Okay, <clears throat> now third condition we need to click this button and we need to cancel this button. By default, it's a true. How we can able to stop to execute that command means. Now we can able to see here and I'm going to take this particular line into on the last and before that I'm going to do there is a return type return type as false if I return a return type as a false even you can able to see the documentation also provided first when your app calls a global window dot confirm method cypress will automatically accept the confirmation means automatically it will accept the ok button if you want to return a false from this event and confirmation will be cancelled means when when we invented return type as a false then it will cancel your alert <coughs> After when we hit this particular button to click, default it will click for cancel. Okay, after that we can able to validate this error message. When you click the cancel button, we'll get it for here, right? You click the cancel button, this particular text we need to validate. For this, we need to inspect an element. My element having the page, the result ID. Then I'm going to take for <clears throat> and I'm going to take my cancel button purpose dot get and I'm going to use for single quotation colon and pasting my result should should is to get for uh, value what type of value we need to verify we have text because we have a value as a text format what is the text value it is presented you click cancel button then we need to verify this one okay and here once you save this button you can able to see there are three validations one is confirmation and another one is clicked cancel button you clicked cancel button okay this is a another format of button to verifying okay this is all about for alert like okay cancel button verification by using cypress i hope you understand this video please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you